Well, hey again, it's me. Welcome back to the show. I'm so glad to be here. We're gonna dive in today to my must-haves for access tools and classes and how they've changed my life. And hopefully this class, this show will be more of a resource for those of you that are brand new to access consciousness, that have just started really exploring this universe, that are looking for more, that wanna know more about my story. Um, that's what I'm hopeful for for this episode. So the world has opened up again. We are no longer in pandemic. I am out traveling the world facilitating classes and they, most of the big core access consciousness classes are live. Now, if you got into access consciousness via all my content or some of my online stuff, you might think that access consciousness is like, online and there is a lot of stuff that you can do online but for the most part the big life changes that I've experienced that a lot of other people experience happen through the live classes of access consciousness and if you guys are here live I'd love to hear about it tell me tell me something um, so I'm gonna go through my top five must have in your life don't pass these up classes and bodies of tools and the very first one that I'm going to tell you about that you might be shocked by is called talk to the entities now talk to the entities is a specialty class of access and I didn't really expect it to be top on my list but I have probably personally grown more out of including the talk to the entities work in my life than almost any other body of work in access consciousness. And I know that's a big claim because I'm probably gonna say with a lot of this stuff, like I can't live without this, you have to have this, and all of that's true. Um, I actually wrote a list earlier about the 10 things that talk to the entities changed for me that I'm really grateful for. And I wanted to tell you these. The first thing that I learned with talk to the entities is that I'm not crazy. I do perceive other beings. And I would kind of broaden that to one of the things I learned from Talk to the Entities is that I'm not crazy. How many of you guys spent a lot of your life feeling crazy? Like so weird, so different, so other, like there was no solution for you. You didn't fit in, nobody understood you. Like I, I remember being so depressed for so much of my life that, and I remember saying to my friends, I just wish I could be normal. Because I couldn't. I couldn't make life work in the way that it worked for everybody else. So one of the huge things that I learned in Talk to the Entities is I'm not crazy. I am different and I do perceive. And then what you start to learn with this entity work is that part of what you perceive is other beings. They exist. They're a part. They're a part. Um, you're not crazy. The second thing I learned is that I know. I do know. And that when I doubt, everyone loses, including me, especially me. <sighs> to me, Talk to the Entities is the class where you start to really strengthen being, knowing, perceiving, and receiving. And if that sounds like fluff to you, let me just put it this way. If you're walking around in the world feeling anxious, depressed, sad, um, any of the heavy stuff, none of that is you. All of that is your awareness. Right underneath that awareness that seems to be squashing you down into the ground, like, is you. And you, the being, are really, really light, really, really spacious, and you know, and you are, and you perceive, and you receive. So to get access to you is what my life has become about. The third thing I learned from Talk to the Entities was how to be direct. <laughs> now, if you guys watch any of my YouTube videos, you're gonna see a change at some point from the way that it was to the way that I started speaking. And there was, I mean, there was a real shift somewhere back, I think right when Talk to the Entities got into my life, right, uh, four or five years ago, where I would ramble a whole lot and try to explain myself, and then a point where I started stating what is. I got that from Talk to the Entities. So I learned to be direct and bold and with what I know and with anything I say and with what I am and with knowing that I know. I don't have to doubt, I don't have to equivocate and that's the fourth thing I learned. I learned not to equivocate. I learned to state and to be. 
Now this seems weird to me that all of, most of the things on my list don't have anything to do with entities. And the thing is that entities are real, they do exist, they're as much a part of our life as, as anything else we've got going on, but most of what I got from Talk to the Entities has to do with me. And what's interesting about that is it's very much to me like training a dog, like you know when you take your little puppy to puppy training, the puppy gets trained, sure, but who gets really trained in doggy training? You do. <laughs> so this was more about that. When it comes to entities and demons, there's some simple tools that allow you to handle them. But when it comes to you, you are the bigger project because we, I was walking around this world not sure, looking for validation, um, unclear, unsure, unclear and unsure, basically. And so I was bringing this kind of battered self into these classes going, she's like, well, how are you going to relate to or acknowledge an unseen world from a place of doubt? I mean, you either let the doubt go or you are constantly at the effect of what you're aware of. So I learned to not equivocate, to be. I learned to be the dominant entity of my life and to let other people flail and struggle if that's what they choose. This is huge. There was so much of my world, and I would say it's less and less and less and less all the time, that if someone else had a feeling about something or was uncomfortable with something or any of those other things that people do, I would allow my space to be shaken. Talk to the entities eliminated that. I am now the dominant entity of my life, and I let other people flail and struggle as they choose to do so. I learned to be clear. I learned to get quiet, open my crown, perceive, and be. I actually learned to get present. How many of you take yourself out of being present with thinking, with feeling, with problems, with trying to think your way through something? Like how, you know, that was the dominant choice I was making most of the time. I learned to get clear and to get present and to perceive. And perceiving is this interesting thing. I was actually talking about this on the book club just before this show, that perceiving has to do with subtle energies. Now, the thing about entities is that when they've been ignored and you have an ability, when those, you know, they've been ignored and you have an ability, they get loud and the loudness shows up as pain and pain of some sort, physical pain, headache pain, you know, chronic something pain, uh, financial pain because you're living out someone else's reality. I mean, it just is on and on. So that doesn't feel very subtle, but as you surrender to what's going on, and you start to handle all the backlog that's been created because you've been ignoring them this whole time. That pain dissipates, and what gets to start to show up is your ability with perceiving the subtle energies before they get intense. Now, this perceiving ability that you have that maybe has gotten dulled down to a very dull shine, like maybe you've been so battered that your perceiving is like unperceivable, when you get access to it also allows you to perceive possibilities and i'm going to talk a little bit later about the choice for possibilities if i get there <laughs> but this thing about perceiving is huge you need access to it i learned that there is a wealth openly offered by all the beings on the planet that if i'm willing to have i can i started to receive the fortune of who and what i am and I started being the gift instead of living at the effect of my ability. So, I mean, and I literally could have kept writing like all the different things that talk to the entities changed for me. So this is tool set number one that I would not leave the house without is the tools of talk to the entities. Okay. The second access consciousness class and set of tools that I can't even imagine being on this planet without, I think this class should be called how to be here is the foundation. Now, a lot of you guys that are already BARS facilitators, I mean, a lot of you know about this class, but what you may not know about this class is what it changed for me that I'm so grateful for. And this is, 
This is probably an even longer list. Um, and this is one of my favorite classes to facilitate because the purpose of the foundation class is a three and a half day class is to shatter the foundation of your reality so that you can create something that really works for you. When I came to foundation for the first time, I wanted two things. I wanted to be happy and I wanted to learn how to have great relationships. Uh, the things I got from foundation. So here's the 10 things that changed for me. I learned that if I tell my story about why I can't, the only one that loses is me. Don't listen to it, don't tell it, don't buy it. Don't buy your story. Your story is always about why you can't. If you tell it, the only one that loses is you. I learned that I have other choices regarding money that I've never considered and all I have to be willing is to have them. So I didn't come into foundation looking for money tools. I didn't even know that you could, it was a non-reality to me that I could change my financial reality. I had already, I had so many like presumed things that were just true for me when I came into foundation about money. Like I was, I was too old, I had reached my max, I was never gonna get above that, that was fine, I had accepted it. Like there was a lot going on around that. But I learned that I have other choices and that if I'm willing, I can change my stars. That was fucking massive. I learned that trying to figure out how never works and that if I'll put my back into choosing, I'll get more information faster. This to me is like, I think all of these are like the biggest key ever. Trying to figure out how never works and that if I will just put my energy into choosing, I will get more information faster. I remember when this sunk in. Because foundation when you first take it is, is so much. And then the next class I'm gonna talk about choice for possibilities is so much. But I was, I, you know with me, I try to distill things down to their like edible components. You know, what's the bite that if I take it will, what's the pivotal thing that if I come away with this will change everything? I remember the moment it sunk in that the only thing I had to really focus on or put my attention on was choosing. If I would just choose, I would get more information faster. With more information, I would have more choices available and I would be able to choose again. Like <laughs> when that sunk in, I stopped listening. I was like, oh, okay, I'm good. I'm, I, know what, I know what I'm doing now. So, you know, I hear people say all the time, like, you, my, oh my God, you move so fast. And I'm like, well, one, it's because that's me. So I learned that in fact, I'm fast. I'm different. I don't function the same as anyone else. And number two, if I choose more, I get more awareness and I'm all about fast. So I'm not so much worried that I'm gonna choose wrong as much as I'm like, can we choose more now so that I can get more information so that I can get to where I'm going faster? Which as it turns out, there's no destination, but that was a huge thing. I learned that all the feelings floating around in my world weren't mine. They weren't mine. This was massive because I came into foundation a walking, talking feeling. I was feeling all the time. I was emotionally unstable. I was actually looking for access conscious. I was trying access consciousness to try to get stable. Um, and I learned through a question, somebody asked me, what if 98% of what's going on in your head isn't yours? And you know how we said that foundation is there to shatter the platform, like your reality, it's there to shatter your reality. That one question entering into my head started breaking apart all these things that I just thought I was gonna have to live with forever. It was earth shattering that 98% wouldn't be mine. I mean, the first thought was like, if 98% of this shit isn't mine, what have I been doing with my life? I have been spending all my life on what's not mine. Holy shit. I learned that I was a walk-in. Now this is an entity conversation. I learned that I walked into the body when I was 10 years old and that I had eight other occupants in there with me. What other class on the planet addresses entity stuff and says, hey, you know why you can't remember your childhood? Because you walked into the body. Or they don't, they don't tell you that. They're like, this could be a possibility. Let's ask you a question. Did you walk into the body? Oh my God. Do you have other occupants in there with you? Oh my God. I learned I wasn't wrong. This was huge. I was a humanoid and I was super different in all the ways I thought were wrong. I learned that most of the time I was distracted by anger, fear, doubt, relationship, and sex. 
And guys, listen, I am facilitating these classes around the world. And this is why I wanted to talk to you about them. You were invited. I have Talk to the Entities classes happening right now in real time in San Diego, Colorado, and Hungary. I've got foundation classes happening in South Africa, in um, Hungary. <laughs> so this is where you want to start to look at, oh my God, do I need more change? Where can I go to get it? What do I need and where can I go to get it? All right, the third, I'm gonna at this list that I could be here all day. The third class, the set of tools that I would not live without is this third live class with Access Consciousness called Choice for Possibilities. Now, this class used to be called, as of like two weeks ago, Choice of Possibilities. And before that, it was uh, level two and three. <laughs> so this class has changed names a lot and it's changed energies a lot. This is the latest iteration. This is another class that I wouldn't live without. And I am one of the promoters for Simone Milicis coming to Bogota in Colombia. There's three choice of four choice of possibilities facilitators now, Gary Douglas, Dane here, Simone Milicis, and now Kalpana Raguraman. The, there's 10 things that choice of possibilities changed for me that I won't get through, but the first one in this class, see, foundations shatters things so that you can create something that works for you. But most of us come out of foundation class not knowing how to create. I didn't know how to create. I knew like one or two things, but my creation muscles were really atrophied because I had been taught to judge and think rather than create. So in Choice of Possibilities, I started to learn how to create my life. This is where I started to learn about the energy pulls, which is my next thing I would not live without. My must-have access consciousness tools is energy pulls and 30 by 30s. Um, in Choice of Possibilities is where I started to learn about that. Like, how now do you create your life? How do you, because Gary very, very clearly says in Foundation, you guys don't know how to choose. We don't know how to choose. The con choice is a concept rather than something that we are very skilled in because we've been thinking and judging so much. So choosing is like, you know, how do you get a reality of ease? Well, you choose it. Well, how do you choose it? Well, how do you stand up? You just stand up. Like choice is this kind of confusing thing for a really long time. So in choice, of, choice for possibilities, you started to learn what that is and how to create your life. I learned that I'm usually very impatient with myself and my questions nine out of 10 reflect some judgment I have of me that I think I need to change. I learned that the universe is always working on my behalf to deliver the most elegant configuration of possibilities. This was choice for possibilities was where I started to learn about possibilities. I think even 10 years later, I'm just starting to get it. Like, what are possibilities? What is choosing for possibilities? If I wasn't choosing to defend myself or choosing to avoid something, if I was choosing for something, what would I want to choose for? Well, what if I chose for possibilities? What would that be like? I mean, this is a huge conversation. How much of your life has been to avoid or fix a problem or defend yourself or try to find out what's wrong with you? Does any of that have to do with creating your life? Well, it doesn't, but it's the best we've known how to do. So in this class, you start to start to learn what choosing four possibilities is and what it could be for you. Oh my God, I could talk all day. Okay, so the fourth set of tools that I would not live without are energy pulls and 30 by 30s. And in truth, this is two sets, so I'm cheating. I'm giving you six in a list of five. <laughs> these two things right here, actually, you can find, actually all of these things that I'm talking about, you can find at my link tree, which is why it's linked um, right underneath my head. Link tree slash Crystal Crawford. I have, an, if you go to energypulls.com, you're gonna find a shop that I built there that is full of these really beautifully produced energy pulls that you can add to your life right now. The energy pull is introduced to us as a way of creating our life in a book called Right Riches for You. Right Riches for You. It's extrapolated on and really built on in the Choice for Possibilities class. And it's something that 
a lot of facilitators do series on. So, you know, it's been in the air for a long, long time. It got really, really featured like six or seven years ago. It's sort of died down, but it's one of those tools that I wouldn't leave home without. Why? Because you, how do you create you know, how, you know how we talked about in Choice for Boss Abilities, you start exploring creating your life? Well, how do you create a life you've never seen? How do you create a life and living that you have no reference points for? If you have no reference points, remember in Foundation we shattered all of those, and then in Choice for Possibilities we shattered even more of them, and so now you are left with you and your creative ability, right? So now what, right? Here you are, energy, space, and consciousness, now what? Well, we've got some more learning to do about creation. How does creation work, actually? Not what we've been taught, not how we've done it before, because that only got us so far. Like, what's new? What's different? The first thing is you need to become power, become awareness, become creativity, become money. And to do that, you need to create the vision of what you want your life to be, except it's not a vision up here as it turns out, because this is imagination. Your mind is the limiter to what you can actually create. So if it's not the vision in your mind of what you want your life to be like, what is it? It's actually getting the energy of what you want your life to be like. Now this, I think, is a master skill that if you nail it, is the most generative power that you have as an energetic being. That's what you are. You're an energetic being. I'm an energetic being. Are you functioning like an energetic being or are you functioning as a thinking being trying to figure shit out? And that's what I did. So the energy pull gives you an exercise you can do to start generating the energy of what you'd like to have as your life. Once you start generating that energy every single day for like 90 days, you start becoming it and then it can show up for you. So that is like master tool. The other tool that I lumped with this that really shouldn't be lumped, but here it is, is the 30 by 30. Now, I would say the 30 by 30 is not an official tool. You're not gonna find it like in any of the manuals. But what you will find throughout like the archived material uh, that from all the classes that have ever happened over the last 30 years is you're going to find Gary Douglas who has said, run this one clearing 30 times out loud for 30 days. And I was for a while there, like an, for years, eight years or something, I just was, I lived in the reference materials. I was constantly reading them. I'm, it's less now, <laughs> but anyway. And so I, I actually made a list, I pulled, I copied and pasted all of those out of the reference materials into one note in my phone and I was like, I have to do these. So I started doing them myself and then I started doing them in Facebook groups and now they're kind of becoming a thing. A 30 by 30 is one axis consciousness clearing that you say out loud 30 times a day for 30 days. And if you want a taste of this, you can go to the link tree link or you can go to the awarenesschallenge.com and get a taste of one I pulled from the book Right Riches for You, which is like, what would it take to be willing to live the energy of what you would like your life to be so it can show up for you in totality and everything that doesn't allow it and all the thoughts, feelings, emotions, sex, no sex, presumptive realities in need of reactive realities you're using to absolutely refuse and reject your life and the energy you'd like your life to be, destroy and uncreate it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine, shorts, boys, povids, and beyonds. And that statement is the clearing statement that works amazing. So you, you take this one clearing and you say it out loud 30 times a day for 30 days. These 30, I, I have religiously, let's say it, done these for probably five years and I have noticed light years, light speed change in my life in places where I see other people dragging along. And it's honestly just because of that diligent use of daily tools. So I wouldn't leave home without a 30 by 30, doing a 30 by 30 every single day. Um, you can start with the awarenesschallenge.com. And then this is, a, this is a total cheat of a tool. The, for my number five, I probably, should, I don't know, whatever. This is a cheat, but is the money tools of access consciousness. These, I wouldn't leave home without the money tools of access consciousness. And guys, honestly, this is, <laughs> This is pretty broad. This is pretty broad. Um, 
Maybe what I'll do is I will create for you. If you're on my email list, you're going to be hearing about these like one by one every day. Today I talked about entities. I gave you some freebies you can check out around entities. Those are all in the link tree. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll put together a swipe file of my favorite money tools, including money tools that I've created. The truth is about money is that you can change your stars. I have. I'm in the process of changing them again. I have made some very big choices. We are following through on with action and being and all that stuff. Like things are changing again. Um, I would not have been able to live the life that I'm living now and the life that I'm creating now without the money tools of access consciousness. So one example is something I put on my phone here. This question here. What can I create or generate today that will bring me money right away? I can't tell you how many times I have been in a situation where I require more cash and I look down on my phone or you know, in the reference materials or on a book and I see the perfect question for the perfect time. And this is also how consciousness works. Consciousness has your back. What can I create or generate today that will bring me money right away? The tools of access consciousness stimulate your awareness of what's possible. It's never true that things are impossible. Even if in the moment you've gotten yourself into a corner and they feel impossible, that doesn't mean they are. There are always possibilities available. So the trick is to get access to those possibilities. I think our biggest job as practicing consciousness people is to go around our own need to self-destruct. <laughs> and there's so many different things that we use to self-destruct. I mean, anger, rage, fury, hate, blame, shame, regret, and guilt, addictive, compulsive, obsessive, perverted points of view, love, sex, jealousy, peace, life, living, death, reality, fear, doubt, business, and relationship. There you go. You learn that in foundation. The 24 distractor implants, we use those to self-destruct. So for the most part, like, you know, 85 to 95% of our day is trying to navigate around our own need to self-destruct. So the money tools of excess consciousness start pulling you out of that need and inviting you to ask a different question that stimulates a different awareness than how much more fucked can I get, which is typically where we're living from. You know, what's wrong with me that I'm not getting? How much more bad, how much worse can this get? No, 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 no. I mean, yes, you can choose that if you want to, but there's a different possibility that is asking the universe to show you something different. Show me something beautiful. How does it get better than this? What's right about me I'm not getting? What can I create or generate that would bring in money and cash right away? What is possible here that I haven't considered? How many more ways of money and cash showing up in my life are available that I haven't yet chosen? What would it take for me to be willing to be money right now with total ease? What would it take for me to show up for myself? I mean, the list is so long that there is no list. There's 82 classes and books and everything. So I'm gonna see if I can compile my short list of money resources. I don't think anybody should be on this planet without classes, uh, clearing loops, books. Get on my email list if you wanna get access to it. I'll send it out on Friday. Um, but <laughs> thank you for watching today's show. Um, the, the thing that I want to encourage you to do is reach for and choose the thing that's going to be your next portal to the freedom that you're asking for. You are a massive gift. You might not feel like a gift. You may not have been creating yourself as a gift, but you are one. You are the pony in the poop pile. And you always know what's going to create something for you. If I can be more of a part of that with classes that I'm doing, please go get yourself signed up and get on an airplane. If somebody else can be a greater gift to you, please get yourself in their class and get on an airplane. Choose the thing that's going to gift you, you. What would it take? What would it take? What else is possible for you that you have never considered? Boom.